Hey everyone, welcome back to Linux Network. Today we're diving into something super exciting, the brand new Fedora Linux 42 Beta. If you're a fan of Linux or just curious about what's new in the world of operating system, this video is for you. Fedora 42 Beta is packed with cool features, so let's break it down. First up, let's talk about KDE Plasma Desktop. If you've been using Fedora for a while, you may know that KDE Plasma was already available as a spin, basically a version of Fedora with a different desktop environment. But guess what? In Fedora 42 Beta, KDE Plasma has been promoted to an official edition. What does that mean? Well, it means KDE Plasma is now one of the main flavors of Fedora, just like Fedora Workstation or Fedora Server. This is a big deal because it shows how much Fedora values the KDE community. You can expect the same level of polish, stability and support as the other editions. And here is something even cooler. KDE Plasma is now fully supported on power systems, that's PPC64 for the techies. If you're using an open power based system like the Talos workstation from Raptor Systems, you're in luck. You'll get the full KDE experience including KDE PIM, that's personal information management like calendars and emails. So, if you're a KDE fan, this is your moment to shine. Fedora 42 Beta is bringing the heat. Next up, we have something brand new. The Fedora Cosmic Spin. Now, what's Cosmic? It's a Rust-based desktop environment developed by System76, the folks behind PAPOS. And let me tell you, it's got some seriously cool features. First off, Cosmic has this hybrid window management system. That means you can switch between traditional floating windows and tiled windows where windows snap into places like puzzle pieces, on a per workspace basis. It's super flexible and perfect for multitaskers. Another neat feature is windows tags with tabs. Imagine having multiple windows grouped together and you can switch between them like browser tabs. It's a game changer for organizing your workflow. And for all of you customization fans out there, Cosmic has robust customization options that integrate with GTK and soon QT. You can tweak almost everything to make it look and feel exactly how you want. So, if you're looking for something fresh and modern, give the Fedora Cosmic Spin a try. It's like a breath of fresh air for your desktop. Now, let's talk about the Anaconda installer. If you've ever installed Fedora or any Linux distro, you've probably used Anaconda. Well, in Fedora 42 Beta, Anaconda has gotten a major upgrade. The biggest change is the new Web UI. That's right, the installer now has a modern web-based interface that's super smooth and user-friendly. It comes with features like an installation progress indicator, built-in help and a configuration review so you can double-check your settings before proceeding. But wait, there is more. Anaconda now has a guided partitioning function. This is perfect for beginners because it simplifies the process of setting up your disk partitions. You just select a goal, like I want to dual boot with Windows, and the Anaconda takes care of the rest. Of course, if you're a power user, you can still customize everything manually. And here is a lifesaver. There is a new reinstall Fedora option. If something goes wrong with your system, you can easily reinstall Fedora without losing your data. It's like a reset button for your OS. These changes make installing Fedora easier and more intuitive than ever. Whether you're a newbie or a pro, you're going to love this. Alright, let's quickly go over some other updates in Fedora 42 Beta that you don't want to miss. First, there is the latest version of Python Setup Tools. If you're a Python developer, this is huge. Setup Tools make it easier to package and distribute your Python projects, and the new version brings even more improvements. Next up, DNF5. Fedora's Package Manager has gotten smarter. It now automatically removes expired and obsolete repository keys. That means fewer headaches when installing or updating software. And for all the Ruby fans out there, Fedora 42 Beta includes Ruby 3.4, the latest stable version. It's packed with new features and improvements, making Fedora the go-to platform for Ruby development. Finally, Fedora Workstation has introduced the SDL free transition and Wayland by default for SDL apps. Plus, there is a new GNOME well-being feature to help you stay productive and focused. So, there you have it, a sneak peek at Fedora Linux 42 Beta, from the new KDE Plasma Edition to the sleek Cosmic Spin and the revamped Anaconda installer, there is a lot to love about this release. If you're curious and want to try it out, head over to the official website and download the beta version. Just remember, it's still a beta, so there may be a few bugs here and there. But that's the fun of testing new software, right? 
And don't forget to check out the Fedora Linux 42 change set page for a complete list of all the updates. That's it for today's video. And as always, if you found it useful, please like, share and subscribe. Thank you for watching and I'll see you on the next one.